Welcome back everyone to another beer review, yet another one. Let's just get myself all sorted, the usual thing. It's like looking in the mirror, it's only a nightmare. Anyway, shut the hell up, bud, what are you going on about? Let's get on with these beer reviews that I'm doing for the Saturday night. Uh, just done one from Castle Eden. Really enjoyed that one. That was out of a triple pack, which I'd done the first one last night for that. Uh, so done the second one before. Third one out of that box is coming up now. And it's one that I've only ever had one beer from before. Uh, and that was out of a, a, a mystery case or something. So I don't, I've never reviewed anything from them. So that's a bit of a first again for the channel. So uh, yeah, this one from Harvest Dune Brewery. And this is a bottle of their Bitter and Twisted Golden Ale coming in at 4.2%, 330ml bottle. As I've said on the other ones out of this box set, the box set was seven quid, three beers and a glass in there great value so uh and that was off my wife for christmas so i'll just give her a little mention thank you daniel very much these have been lovely beers so far so let's hope this one uh lives up to the others so uh <laughs> yep let's get on with it anyway uh label i quite like the mousy not over keen on the label sort of thing myself but that doesn't really matter yeah i do like that little branding thing we got a nice little bottle cap there with the same mouse thing on top i do like that very cool so uh yeah uh let's get this out and see what we get Harvest Dune, let's, where are they from? Where are they from? Let's have a look. From Scotland. So this is Scottish beer. Shouldn't know really with the sort of name Harvest Dune. It sounds very much like that, doesn't it? So uh, let's crack it open. Anyway, shut up. Boring you lot. Let's get it in me little, little tankard bloody glass thing here and see what we get. I'm not a big ale drinker. I don't mind mind an odd ale and what have you. Uh, if they're done really well, I do enjoy them. And the last one I done was was fantastic. I'd have to be going by quite a few of them. But we'll see what we get here. Why well, I put that down? It's small glass anyway. So in a glass, uh, we've got half a finger red on top. It's sort of orange, gold colour. Uh, plenty of carbonation coming up. Uh, so let's get in there with the nose. Can't even spin this. The only problem with these little glasses, you kind of spin it, get a nose on it. <laughs> Starting to get a bit worried if I got the Rona. Get a bit of a malty backbone there, but maybe a, a hint of floral notes. But not getting an awful lot off that one. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe a little bit of citrus in there as well. Citrus floral, a little bit malty. So uh, without further ado, let's dive in. Cheers, everyone. See what we get. Again, <laughs> uh, very much a sweet, sweet taste to it. We'll go back. Let's go in again and we'll start from the beginning. Typical sort of ale body. Not really thick and heavy, but it's got a bit of oomph to it, the body. You can tell when you drink it, but not so much that you, you're going to get sort of bloated, if you like. Carbonation's easy. Not too much in there. Mouthfeel's quite smooth. You're certainly not getting any of that 4.2% at all. Got a little bit of sweetness in there. There's almost sort of floral fruity notes in the taste. It's quite nice and light. Uh, the sweetness to it. Very drinkable. I, the beers seem to be going down like bloody tap water today. Maybe it's because only 4.2, nice and light. You're getting that hot character that, as I say in some other, as I said in the last ale review, this is giving it that sort of typical sort of hop sort of taste, but it's not, it's got a nice sweetness to it, so it's not too overpowering. It's got that hot bitterness on the back end. Uh, the last one I done out of the pack was there was no sort of real bit bitterness to it. It was all sweet. Uh, 
it almost almost has that that honey sort of a honey feel to it in the sweetness uh, I don't suppose there's any in there because I'm sure they would have uh, said something let's have a look on the back see what it says crystal malt sweetness yep there's definitely a uh, sweetness in there aromatic fruit from hops and oats or so there's oats in it to give this brew some body that that's obviously going to explain I said before I'd even read this that had quite a nice body to it uh, not to mention naughty tingling lemon finish lemon I don't know if I'm I don't think I've picked up any lemon in there if I'm totally honest yeah you could call it lemon I kind of call it floral fruity but yeah it's quite nice uh, not a bad drop at all really for a golden owl uh, yeah <laughs> that's, that's about it it's just a, a, a good honest sort of ale really with uh, enough in there to keep you interested uh, and very very drinkable so uh, there you go Harvest Soon Breweries Bitter and Twisted Golden Ale very nice indeed highly recommended if you like your ales Traditional style, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Excuse me. Just had me tea as well. I make Donna kebab. Uh, not, that you, not that you lot give two monkeys about, but but yeah, if you like the traditional owl, that's well worth picking up. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Uh, enjoy your Saturday night. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Thanks for all the comments as well. Uh, I'll be back later on with one more beer and that'll be a first for me and the channel again. So uh, look after yourselves. If you join me back later on, great. If you join me on another day, doesn't really matter. Thanks for watching and I'll leave you go. Cheers.